I don't know what the big deal is. I don't know what the big deal is, but there's a bunch of people. There's a lot of people lining up for Bummy Queen. I don't even know. Yo, my grab just got pulled over, yo. I'll take a look right now. I just got pulled over in a taxi. Just getting pulled over right now. You're trying to bullshit. I don't know. I, I'm not in no motherfucking trouble. I am no in no trouble. I am innocent. I'm an innocent boy. I'm trying to go to eat sushi. I am innocent. I am innocent. What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today on Phoenix TV, I drove 45 minutes from Da Nang to another city. You guessed it, it's Hoi An, an enchanting town in Vietnam also known as Ancient Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site boasting charming architecture from centuries past. Hoi An is famous for its lantern festivals and streets which are filled with colorful lights and street food markets. Today, I'm eating at the breakfast place known as Bun Me Queen, where they sell bun me for only $1.50. And then after, I'm gonna take you into my resort, all-inclusive hotel, which only costed $25. So before I show you, hit the subscribe button for weekly episodes. Now, let's go eat. So, I'm here in this ridiculous lineup for bun me. No, it's just not your regular bun me. I don't actually don't even know what's so special about this. It's a sandwich. It's like, you know, the national sandwich dish of uh, Vietnam, but... Bun Mi Queen. This place is called the Bun Mi Queen, and maybe she's the queen of Bun Mi. Yeah, I don't know, but there's a big lineup. It's the biggest lineup of Bun Mi I've ever seen, so let's see what it's all about. I don't know what the big deal is. I don't know what the big deal is, but there's a bunch of people. There's a lot of people lining up for Bun Mi Queen. I don't even know what I'm going to get, but if they have grilled meats, I'm definitely going to do it. It's just, yeah, I don't know what the big deal is, but I'm gonna find out right now. That's how they create it. So yeah, there's a menu. As you can tell, they are very, very busy. They're very busy, and uh, I wonder what's so special. This is where you order, and this is where they make it in front of you. And it's very, very affordable, 30,000 per sandwich. So 30,000 is about $1.50, so. Honestly, you can't really go wrong. I understand why people are uh, lining up $1.50. Uh, there is this. Ah, so you probably want this. There's no beef. Number six. Yeah. So right now, I'm going to order number six. Yeah. And number one. So, I don't know what the big deal is with a bun me queen. I'm actually not a bun me guy, but I'm definitely going to try. Cause it's such a sandwich to me so uh, i mean i like the bun meat but it's not like i would go out of my way to buy it and this is my first time actually going out my way to buy it and it's in vietnam so that's what it is this is the street that the bun meat queen store is on and definitely is the hottest shop over here so i can see that like a lot of people might get a little jealous the fact that this store is basically the most popular store on the street um, yeah. So I secured the goods. Bun me, a dollar fifty per sandwich, and it is actually, I, there is some heat to it, so it is warm and toasted. So uh, they were actually having the last order of the day, and uh, yeah, that place is busy. But for a dollar fifty per sandwich, it doesn't matter what sandwich you get; it's all like basically the same price. Maybe like extra five thousand. You could order extra meat, but it usually comes pretty packed. Um, it has like um, you know all the vegetables in it and uh, pork, ham, chicken. You can basically order whatever you want. But I ordered like the, the regular number one, which is a special, and number six, which is more like pork heavy. And um, I would like beef. I would like beef, but there's no beef, so it's okay. But I'm gonna take this because, as you can see, it's raining. I'm gonna go eat it at my hotel, and I will give you my honest rating. For my guy who doesn't eat a lot of bunny, I will uh, let you know. So this is on the way back to my hotel. Again, I'm staying at M Hotel in Hoi An, and this is basically the driveway walking up to the hotel. Oh, hey everyone, welcome back. Wow, you caught me in a good time because I just checked in. Come on, this is free. 
from Phoenix TV, giving you another room tour of today. I'm staying at N Hotel EMM Hotel in Hoi An. So let me show you around. Okay, so I actually don't know what's in this hotel. I literally just got in, as you can see. All my luggage is right there, and um, I'm pretty parched, so I had to make, make myself a green tea. Mm. Wait, put this down. So right now, um, this is the closet, and. And we come equipped with two bathrobes, which I will utilize because I like my bathrobes. And there is a box for laundry. Oh, oh, okay. So I guess if you want to wash your jumpsuit, it would be sixty thousand dollars. And if you want to, um, if you want to wash one pair of socks, it's a dollar. Mm, yes, very nice. So it's funny because you can actually like wash your slippers and wash your shoes in there too, so it's actually not that bad. So here's the safety deposit, which I never use as I've never trusted, because me personally, once I put it in there and make a lock code, I feel like it's, it's, it might be trapped. The good thing about this hotel is, they give you a full size umbrella, which, you know, I never bring my umbrella, because I always lose it, and then my mom kills me. You know how it is. So here uh, is a little mini bar. You get two complimentary free bottles of water, which I was told at reception. And if you want any more, like a refill, then you can ask for Tiger Beer, or La Rubia, or Coca Cola, or Spry, or Red Bull, or La Vie, or Snack Polka, which I don't know what it is. But kettle, tea, coffee, your standard, you know. And uh, look at this. This hotel is pretty spacious. It's been a while since I've been to a very spacious hotel. Um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of Cuba, like a resort type of house. You have free slippers, you can, you can walk around in slippers, there's a countertop, there's a flat screen TV, uh, here's a full size mirror and a desk, and the phones, the hotel phone, in order for you to call outside, you press zero, that's it. And uh, oh, here we go, this is the menu. They have a menu, so for room service, you can get very, very affordable prices. Where you can get one ton soup for 89,000, which equates to like four bucks. Papaya salad with beef, fresh spring rolls. Oh, yeah, this is like the, the summer rolls. You can get crab spring rolls. Yeah, you can get vegetables if you're, yeah, vegetarian, if you're vegan. You can actually get full on stir fry and beef stew. And, wow, you can get chicken wings, calamari, hot pot, if you really want. Wow, you can have wow. hot pot. You can have hot pot in this. Over here, you get a array of a personalized letter, a personalized letter from Aim Hotel. This is the address here. And also you get the food. You get more dragon food. I might have to eat that actually. And here is the balcony of the, of, oh, oh you push. Push, 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 and look at the view of the rain. Is that hail? No, it is rain. The pool is nice. This is a comfortable couch that you can just relax while you wait for people to get ready. Because you know, there's always somebody that takes a lot to get ready. Now, let's see. Test. Okay, it is, it feels like. It might be spring bed, it might be not. It might be just my phone, I'm not sure. That's pretty comfortable. That's pretty comfortable. All right, let's check out the last room. Okay, so that's pretty comfy. Your standard king bed. And um, over here, see, I told you, Vietnam likes the raindrop. Maybe because it rains all the time, I don't know. No, not all the time. But raindrop top here, and over here, hot water for the left, and cold water for the right. Comes with, sh with shower gel and uh, body wash. And over here, that we have the toilet. The toilet. There's something that I don't like about toilets personally, just me personally. There's so little water in there that like, it makes me afraid. I'm not gonna show y'all. Uh, it makes me afraid that a little bit of water to use to flush. It makes me a little bit afraid. You don't need to know why. Anyways, so here you get Q-tips, which is good for me. You get a comb, you get a toothbrush and toothpaste. And you actually get very good cups, porcelain cups. Two face towels, a hair dryer, and what is this? Oh, an extra, extra toilet paper roll in here. So, very nice. Okay, extra towels. So far, nothing here. And you have your own privacy screen right here. Just a, to give a little bit of a decor. But overall, guys, M Hotel comes for free breakfast at 6.30 a.m. to 10.30. 
I'm gonna take you through that tomorrow morning. The room itself, space-wise, I give it a strong like 8.5 out of 10. Honestly, there's a lot, a lot of space to walk around, no problem. There's stuff to do. You can probably go, if there's Netflix or YouTube on this, it's even better for me. Um, yeah, I can't really complain. Can't really complain right now. My rating for this hotel, everything in general, without testing out the, the free breakfast, it's a, it's a good 9 out of 10. I have nothing to complain about. So if there is something that I need to complain about, I will edit this in a little bit. But right now, this is a 9 out of 10. M Hotel, Hoi An, this is where I'm at. And... <sighs> All right, I'm back. Now this is the bun mi, which is kind of greased up, but uh, I think it'll be all right. So let's do the taste test. Now that I'm out of the rain, let's see, let's first see the assembly. I'll uh, take this, oh shit. Let's take this out. So this bun mi has chicken, no, it has pork, pate, um, a bunch of stuff. I mean, it's loaded. It's loaded, that's for sure. The difference between this bun mi and uh, the one in North America is this is hot. So it's warm, toasted, and also it's different ingredients used in here than the regular bun mi that's back in North America and Canada. So, and it gives you a little bit, a little baggy. So it's kind of, uh, you know, not that bad. Now let's do a taste test before it gets cold. So far, I just got the bread. So I gotta wait a little bit. I taste a little bit of the saltiness, savoriness in the bread because the pate they put in there, it soaks up a little bit. I know they put a little bit of sauce in it as well to give it a little bit of savoriness. Now let's try to take a big bite of meat. The biggest difference that I see from this bun mi, the Canadian North American bun mi, is that the bread is toasted, it's warm, and inside the sauce they put in to dress it, it's it, it's it's not soggy, but I don't know what another description is. It, it's it's um it's kind of like the meat marinade. It's kind of like little light wet coating, which makes it a little bit better because all the flavor seeps into the bread. But other than that, it kind of tastes like grilled pork from grilled Vietnamese pork in, in a sandwich like it's good is it over is it blowing my mind okay I think the name the bummy queen is just catchy and that's what it is but overall decent bunny um I would like grilled grilled beef on it so it's, not, it's definitely not the best tasting bun me I had in my life. Definitely not the worst. Um, for one dollar and fifty cents, and you get toasted. I like the toast, the toast and the crunchiness of it. I do like that. I do like what, what they put in it. Now the thing that's missing from this, which actually is good because I don't like it, is the pickly condiments like the the radish, the carrot, the cold carrots. I'm not a big fan of those, so them not putting that in here is good for me. So, yeah, I will give this a like a like a six point five seven out of ten. Like I'm chill, I'm okay, I'm indifferent. Like I don't remember, I don't go outside and order by me out of my way, and um, yeah, everything's all right. I'm chill. I'm happy with this. Yeah, but me, but me queen, chilling. Yeah, seven out of ten. That's my rating. So, on to the next adventure in Hoya. Yo, I don't know what she's screaming right, right now. I don't know. I'm picking up my custom. I want to see a motherfucker suit or tux. 